So Murray, what we have in our hands are is a diseased variegated pedosporum uh, foliage. So what's going on here? It's got a disease. Explain what the disease is the and disease what we're going to do about it. The disease is a scale. Yep. It's a soft scale. Right. And the soft scale is excreting a residue onto the lower leaves. Right. The lower leaves are creating a sooty mold environment uh, that is very, very prolific because of the excretion. Some people call the excretion honeydew. And the disease that we're dealing with is not really the sooty mold so much as it is the scale. Okay. So if the scale were eliminated in time, the sooty mold will go away because its source of food has disappeared. Okay, so it's been feeding on the plant. So what do we use to treat for it? Uh, this can be handled by several pesticides available at your local uh, hardware store. Um, there are multiple ones that are available. Um, and you can also use a horticultural oil. The horticultural oil will cover the top of the scale and suffocate it and kill it in that manner. However, this is a fairly difficult scale to kill and I would recommend going to insecticides that are for scale specifically. Okay, so your lawn professional could take care of this without a problem. It's just you have to monitor it, take care of it, and when you see the problem happening, give them a call, right? Yeah, and he's probably going to have to uh, do multiple applications of the pesticide on this to control it. Okay, and what I noticed on the hedge where we took this foliage from, um, this hedge has been treated. The, the unsightliness is still there, but the hedge actually has some new growth coming out of it, so that means we know we've conquered the disease. we just got an unsightly bush, right? That's correct, and the uh, sooty mold takes time, but it will disappear, or you can use... Uh, a mild soap to wash it off. Uh, horticultural soap uh, is good. Uh, or you can just leave it and eventually it will uh, it'll flake off. Okay, so I mean from the unsightliness, I know this sounds weird, but you could actually wash the plant off eventually, right? Absolutely you can. Yeah. If you have that kind of time, you can do it. <laughs> okay, or you can just trim back the plant uh, and in the summertime especially it'll grow back and outgrow the disease after you've trimmed down the diseased area, right? Yes, and it should start flushing out almost immediately. You can see when I rub this leaf right here that the quality of the growth underneath the city mold is perfect. Yeah. There's really no deterioration of that leaf whatsoever. Right. There is a little bit of an issue with a lack of sunlight and a lack of photosynthesis taking place in the plant. So if it got extremely heavy, the sooty mold can cause some negative effects, but primarily it's just uh, visual. Okay, does this only happen to variegated pittosporm or pittosporm itself or other plants? And, and the condition we found this particular hedge in, it was shady, didn't get a lot of sun. Are any of the environmental factors the cause of the disease, or is it just random? Whenever you have a plant that's under stress, you're always going to have a risk of getting other diseases. Uh -huh. uh, so the stress brings in the disease. If this was a perfectly healthy pittosporum, it probably would fight off the insect. However, because it is in an area that is uh, a little bit more moist than normal, because it's in the shade all the time, and because the plant likes a little bit more light than it has, it probably is a plant that's under stress, and horticulturally it's not an ideal location. Okay, so it can recur again probably in the same area if... This given the same amount of stress. I'm sure over yeah. the next few years. So it's something you should watch for and really look at, what, is there a time of year when this sooty mold comes out? No, particularly not, not in particular. Usually when the sap is moving in the plant, uh, it would be the one time that it would be the, the heaviest. So when it's dormant, it wouldn't be quite so bad. Um, cut off the old growth and uh, cut it back a little bit and usually they'll come back for it after. And right now it's springtime so ideally we've got wet conditions, it's a little cooler and it's a great time to trim back the plants and treat it because we're going to get new growth fall summer and by the end of summer it should be like it was never there, right? I would think so. Okay, thanks Murray. Mm -hmm.